I never understood why kids didn't like being sent to the principal's office. I thought it was great. Sheldon, you are a remarkable young man. Thanks. And you're a remarkable old man. Sheldon. So he's really good to graduate? He sure is. I gotta tell you, usually when kids leave school after two years, it's not for college. It's for prisoner pregnancy. Well, between George and Missy, we may hit the trifecta. Where are my safety goggles? I don't have an orange today. Did you happen to see a pair of safety goggles? Sheldon, we're in the middle of a test. Sorry. I can't give you the answer, but what you have is not even close. Out! These things happen. <laughs> my mother had me when she was young. Sorry to interrupt. I can't find my safety goggles. Well, they're not here. I have to find them. Nothing's more important than protection. <laughs> Do you think I can make it from one end of the college campus to the other in under 10 minutes, including a bathroom break? I don't know. How important is the bathroom break? Very. The class schedules are designed for fully grown bladders, and mine is child-sized. Well, it's either this or I move my labs to Tuesday afternoons. Is that bad? Yes, that's when Professor Proton is on. Missy, how would you and Sheldon like a graduation party? Why would Missy have a graduation party? Because I'm graduating elementary school. I'm giving the valedictorian speech. And I'm singing This Land is Your Land with a bunch of other kids. And we are proud of you both equally. Guess what? The local news wants to do a story on Sheldon being valedictorian. <laughs> Isn't that great? The next day, the local news showed up to interview me and my family. Which may sound impressive, but this is the same local news that covered a potato chip shaped like Texas. We're here with the Cooper family, Mary, George, and 11-year-old Sheldon, who's going to be Medford High School's valedictorian. I was a little worried about missing Professor Proton, but I'm going to tape it and watch it at night. Once I'm in college, can we push my bedtime to 8.30? Let's talk bedtime when we're not on the news. I'm sure it'll work out since I have all summer to recalibrate my bathroom schedule. Let's not talk about that either. Sheldon, tell us what you're going to miss the most about high school. Nothing. Really? Not your teachers, your friends? I only have one friend, and I don't think he's going to miss me. And I said I'm okay with watching Professor Proton at night, but that'll never work. I get overtired. Everybody knows that. Maybe we can turn the camera off. And the other day, I couldn't find my safety goggles, and I freaked out in school, and my dad asked, is this how I plan on acting when I get to college? And I said, no, but it probably is, because even though I'm smart, I'm just a little boy. I think we have enough. I don't know if I can go to college next year. Are you kidding me? George. I get it. What do you get? I don't want to go to college. I doubt that you do. You're scared everything's going to be different. And it'll be hard. So what do we do? I guess be scared and do it anyway. Hmm. I'm ready to graduate. Good night. Please welcome your valedictorian, Sheldon Cooper. Hello. I'm not very comfortable speaking in front of crowds. But there's a technique to reduce stage fright by focusing on one person in the audience and delivering your speech just to them. If it weren't for this person, I wouldn't be here right now. They've taught me a lot, and it's by their example that I found the courage to move forward into this new and exciting chapter of my life. Missy, this is for you. Change can be scary, but I know we're going to be fine. Because like you said, it's okay to be scared. We just have to do it anyway. Missy, I wish I could give you advice about middle school, but I was so smart I skipped it. If you make it to high school, we'll talk. Thank you. The following day, I attended my sister's elementary school graduation. She didn't deliver a speech to me, but she did make eye contact while she sang This Land Is Your Land. Redwood 4. 